In 1956, Poland entered little stabilization. It was an era of relative stability, more liberal law regarding science, culture and everyday life, and sort of socialist consumptionism. Polish popular culture at the time was utilizing that period for pure entertainment purposes. But here comes Jerzy Skolimowski with his most famous character Andrzej Leszczyc, who features in all of his early Polish films, also Barrier, Walkover and Hands up! Leszczyc is a young man going through severe existential crisis. The title of the film, Identification Marks None, alludes to fuzzy, unstable identity of Leszczyc in the world of little stabilization. A world where you have more opportunities, more liberty, but yet Leszczyc remains detached and utterly lost. His decision to join the army is born out of despair. Despair is a strong undercurrent in this film of absurd situations and sarcastic humor. Skolimowski portrays a world and a generation in which the stories once fundamental to Polish identity, like World War II experience, are not relevant anymore and nothing new has emerged. This is particularly visible in a funny and absurd scene where a man tells Leszczyz the story about his involvement in Warsaw Uprising only to reveal it was completely made up for dramatic purposes. It's a sharp and bold commentary by Skolimowski about using Warsaw Uprising, a tragic fight against the Germans in 1944, which claimed many lives, for personal gain and myth-making. With his debut film, Identification Marks None, Skolimowski delivered and provided Polish cinema with a new aesthetic, a loose episodic structure reminiscent of French New Wave, borderline surreal imagery, astute sense of visual composition, Skolimowski is also a painter, pure nonsense comedy, and finally, a philosophical existentialism where responsibility for your freedom is truly difficult to bear.